what's going on everybody and uh, welcome to your second part in advanced CSS selectors so now in the last tutorial we learned about only two advanced CSS selectors which is a child selector and an image child selector but let's uh, get the things a little bit faster and let's see some of the more CSS selectors in this tutorial so let's type some HTML code and let's create a div and a closing one for sure let's create a h2 saying mm, what's up buddy and inside a span let's say I'll find dude and again let's create a tag h2 with where are you these days let's create a span again uh, let's say I am in India so let's reload this and we have got what's up buddy I'm fine dude where are you these days oh. where are you these days and I'm in India simple enough now let's say I want to select every span in this document which is next to h2 tag now let's say if my document is not just like limited to this one but it is a full featured web page with span used various places so let's say I have a span here saying convo and a span here as well saying uh, next question so I just want to target okay so we've got a problem let's say BR so I just want to target this answer which is th the answer to the question and I know that it's immediately next to the question which is in H2 tag so what I'll do is I'll make use of something called plus sign this plus sign in CSS no oh, it should be span actually so plus sign what it denotes is that find h2 and immediately to h2 this plus sign says that immediately next to h2 you should find a span tag and since uh, just like we had this angular bracket for the immediate child you have got this plus sign for immediate uh, you can say the immediate sibling so h2 plus span would locate the immediate sibling to this H2 and let's say I give it a color of green and now let's reload this and now you can see that green color is applied only to the answer of the span though we have a span right here as well and we have a span on the top as well but it's only applied to the answers for your question so this is the immediate span against or after h2 so we have got a h2 then immediate is the span then we have got again an h2 and immediate is span so now uh, let's say I rename this to h3 h3 so now this style won't be applied so let's reload this and as you can see the style is not applied for the third question so let's say I want to have some lenient sibling selector and just like we select any child inside a parent like h2 span would select any child inside any span child inside this h2 no matter how descendant you have to go similarly we have a symbol uh, on the left of your one key and press your shift and press that key and you will get this wavy like symbol which uh, basically means select every sibling of this H2 which is a span so now when we reload this then these three are green but this is not now the reason being H2 we have got H2 and a span tag so not a span actually we have got three span tags so H2 this symbol denotes uh, this symbol denotes that select any sibling which is 
uh, adjacent to H2 and that doesn't signify only the immediate one but any sibling like this one or this one because these all these are siblings so uh, that's how you select a sibling and let's say if I move H2 to a new position let's say here so now what would be a guess whether these two would be selected in this selector or not because these two are still siblings but would they be selected with the selector let's see now when we reload this you get I'm fine dude and uh, next question like that now why that because first of all we have moved H2 to below this so this looks kinda awkward because the answer is here and the question is here but the main thing is that color green or this property is not applied to the previous siblings and this is the most important thing you have to remember and most of the tutorials won't tell you this that though you can select the next the immediate next uh, and the next siblings in edge uh, in CSS but you do not have any option to select previous siblings but this what I mean is from this H2 if your control in CSS you know, is on H2 then you can go to H3 and span but you cannot go to the previous the span which is located above this H2 so basically kind of you can go to your uh, small brother or small sibling but you cannot go to your elder sibling in CSS and that's you need to know about CSS this uh, the sibling property and with this let's move on to some other CSS selectors so let's say I've got a href mm, let's say I've got a link saying google.com and I say Google uh, let's have got a link saying the local one and I say visit my tutorial 15 and let's have got another link saying facebook.com so I've got three links two uh, which point outside a website outside my website and one which is uh, located inside my website so the links which point outside my website are called external links and this link which points inside my website is called internal link so let's say I want to style every external link automatically without creating any fuss like creating class ext and then class int and all that would create a lot of fuss because I would need to apply a class to every link I have and I would create in future so let's say I want to create a kind of automatic style applied to external links so what I'll do is I'll type a and href so first of all with this what we are doing is we are first of all selecting every a element which has got a href so if I do like a hello world then these styles these styles do not apply to this element so a the square brackets and the attribute name signifies that this attribute should be present in this element and then only these styles would be applied so let's say if I do color yellow uh, let's reload this and as you can see kind of not see cause let's make the background black so it's visible background black here we go simple enough uh, okay so now we have got a platform we don't see hello world but you can see that your links with ahref are converted into black or sorry yellow but not the normal a without a href attribute so using this you could select a href all the a attributes uh, a tags having href attribute but not anything else so now let's take it one more level crazier 
so now I want to select every a link first of all which has got an href attribute and the next thing this should have is a link with value as google.com now what this mean is okay so first of all it would say give me an a so HTML would return all these five then it would say give me an href a with all hrefs and this would return it four and since we are supplying a value here then it would look for the exact value and would return you a link which has exact value in the href so you've got google.com as exact similar to like this so this style would only apply to google.com right now and let's make color white for the links so they are visible a black background let's reload this and now you can see this is not a link because we have not supplied href to this and the rest are white in color so we are only applying this color yellow to the Google one uh, let's take it to another level and now let's say I want to target the links only starting with HTTP because that would technically mean that I'm referring to an external link because I won't start an internal link with HTTP I can simply navigate in my website with slashes or direct paths so let's see how we do that so we just can not simply do like this because if we do like this then what does that mean is it would say select every a links with href as HTTP so this would select every link which has only HTTP as href value but we want to have HTTP as the starting keyword and I don't care what is the next uh, alphabet or any character so for that what we make use is we make use of the kind of up arrow which is above your six key and this look like this so this is the up arrow which is above the six numeric key press shift and press six then a equals to and HTTP so it signifies that select all links would start with HTTP and don't care about anything behind or anything after that so now let's uh, check out the browser let's reload this and Google and Facebook get the color as yellow because these two links begin with HTTP so okay so now let's take a look at the end of the string type of selector so this selector is used to mark the starting of a string and apply some styles to it so we, got, we have got also a end selector and let's have a look at that let's say I create my site download PDF dot PDF and download PDF my site download doc dot HTML HTML and I say virus dot exe but actually nobody gives a virus by saying that it's a virus so that doesn't matter but let's say I want to target PDF HTML and virus links are kind of executable links differently so what I'll do is I'll put a dollar sign instead of that upper arrow and now it looks like a href dollar no space equals and in the value I would write PDF so now what I am doing is I'm selecting every a which has got a href value ending with a dot PDF thing so we are selecting kind of PDF files in this and uh, let's copy this again and write some different values for here and what we've got HTML let's say as a uh, specify color to green yellow and red so now let's check out the browser let's reload this now you can see that PDF is automatically green in color this link automatically becomes green in color the HTML is automatically red and 
your virus file which is the exe one is automatically yellow and it doesn't matter how many links or with how many different extra values you create if they end with exe then they all would have yellow color if they end with HTML then they all would would have the red color and again if they end with PDF then again they all would have green color so that was some of the advanced CSS selectors we would be working with and okay yeah so before leaving this tutorial learn about one more CSS selector which is kind of very funny type of CSS selector and sometimes plays very useful role while you are resetting your browser CSS so that is a star now this star means everything so this star technically signifies everything to every element so what does that mean is if I do star uh, let's say opacity 0 0.5 and I do like div text 1 and I create another div inside this and I say span text 2 now let's reload this and as you can see now this text 1 is dim itself because this opacity 0 0.5 is already applied on the HTML itself then to the body then to the div itself so if you do a uh, kind of math then HTML having opacity 0 0.5 then body having 0 0.5 would technically mean 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 would technically mean for the div as 0 0.125 so this div right here is having an opacity of 0 0.125 so let's ex increase this to 0 0.9 and we can see some results now. So now, uh, I guess it's too dark now. Let's reduce it to 0 0.8. So now you can see that this div, this text right here is kind of darker than this text. And the reason being, this star opacity would be inherited by every of this element in the document so what does that mean is this opacity 0 0.8 is applied on HTML head meta title style head body div span and all the way to down and obviously meta and title doesn't give a damn because they don't have anything to show on the document and obviously you cannot opacity blur this title right here so the star would actually select every element down here and what's the use of the star so basically you can combine it with the advanced CSS selector of child which I told you in my previous tutorial and using this now you are targeting every element inside the body and similarly you can do like body div star and this would mean that every element which is uh, every div which is inside body and select every element inside that so for now we are just selecting span so that's how star works and star is kind of a wildcard for CSS which would select every element you specify and this would work with other CSS selectors just like this body immediate star means select immediate child imme every immediate child and like body div plus star would select every sibling which is next to uh, div so I guess this span would also get styled with this this P would also get styled with this because now this star doesn't give a damn what it is so it would select anything which is next to div so combine the star selector with my previously taught uh, advanced CSS selectors and you would find some amazing and interesting results so till then stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video